Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for August. Now, I did one for August. I don't know if you've seen that one or yet. <laughs> you know, it is Mercury retrograde, and I'm having a heck of a time talking, speaking, getting the words out correctly. So, if that happens, bear with me, and hopefully I'll get it right somewhere along the way. So, anyhow, what do we have for a message for Capricorn for August? Hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So either you need help, assistance, and guidance, or you, maybe somebody needs your help, okay? Somebody needs a helping hand, okay? I feel like somebody is going to be receiving some help, okay? I do, because of this hand. So there is somebody here that needs help, and I feel like they're going to receive it. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and like and even comment if you want to see more or if you just want to support me. Ooh, this one's reversed. The most difficult part of a situation is over. That means it's not over. And maybe that's why assistance is needed. This is in the storm, right? This is stormy. It's still raining. It's still gloomy. You may be having a difficult time getting out of a situation that is gloomy. It's like in the middle of the storm. It's not over yet. So it's not over yet. The storm isn't over yet. What do we have for Capricorn? Facing the rain. Facing the music. You know... Walking through it. It's how you look at things, right? What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, this one's reverse too. Replace your fear with faith. Faith over fear. It's the same, same message. Faith with fear you replace. Same thing if you read it backwards. Replace your fear with faith, but then read it backwards. Faith with fear you replace. Okay, stop letting fear control you. All right, you need to have faith, okay? Believe in yourself more than anything, okay? Maybe fear has had some sort of power or control. Maybe what? Fear of what? Fear... Maybe you've lost faith, faith in the universe, faith in a higher power, faith in yourself. Hmm. In need of help, you ask, ask and you shall receive, ask and you shall receive. Apparently this deck was upside down, but it was upside down for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. I know everybody's sick of hearing that, and I'm sick of saying it, and I'm sick of hearing it too. You know, um, have faith. Believe. Reconnect with your source. Re reconnect with your higher power. Believe. X. So we have an X here. The X marks the spot. X, you know, maybe we're dealing with an X. This is also a no answer. It's a no answer. So that's interesting. In need of assistance. We have some sort of blockage here. Maybe you don't have any faith. Faith needs to be restored. Maybe there's a blockage or there's a rejection or there's no answer. Maybe it has something to do with your lack of faith. I don't know. What else? What else do we have for camp? Camp? I was going to say camp. 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 I don't know where camp comes from. I just did cancer. See, so like I said, it's mercury retrograde and I'm definitely struggling to get the words out. Um, the letter M may be prominent. The letter X may be prominent.
working too hard or multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life, juggling multiple priorities, balancing the budget. This is the two of pentacles. You may have to say some, say, here we go. You may have to say no to some things. Now I haven't had this kind of um, issue with speaking until now during your reading. So, and this is a no. You may have to literally say no. I feel like you've lost your faith and maybe somebody's instilled some fear in you. Maybe they've threatened you or taken something from you and you're feeling, you know, I mean, like when it rains, it pours, right? Like you're feeling like there's no end in sight. This is bad luck, right? In need of help, assistance, and guidance. You're trying to do too much. The need to bring balance and fun into your life. Maybe you need to go out and have some fun. And you also need to rebalance the budget. Now this is somebody that is walking a very tight rope. And things may be very, 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 very tight right now. You may be struggling to keep afloat. <laughs> you definitely need to move slow. The, the water is very choppy in the background. So I feel, and then we have the rainbow. This is a very, it feels like it's a, it almost feels like it's a dangerous situation, you know? I feel like you're struggling. I also feel like there's been some sort of rejection which has caused you to lose your faith. And now you may be taking on too much. Maybe you're trying to prove yourself or something. We have clocks here. We do have clocks. So we have seven o'clock and then we have six o'clock. This is just like riding the waves, huh? It's stormy, and I can see that with the uh, rainbow. This is stormy weather. You know, weathering the storm. And it, I don't think it's easy, but I think you're doing it. There could be an ex involved for some of you. It could be an ex-friend. It could be an ex-lover. It could be an ex-employer. I don't know. Some of you are definitely struggling with some sort of choice. Do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, an excellent reputation. So you have two of pentacles and three of pentacles. So there's something here about your stability and your security and... You know, I think that you're really focused on doing good work and you may be putting a lot of effort into doing a good job and I think that you will be getting rewarded for that. Somebody may be seeking out your skills, seeking out what your abilities. I mean, obviously you're doing some sort of really, really good work and, you know, not many can do that work, can do what you're doing. I mean, there's not a lot of people that can. This is building a strong reputation through hard work and dedication and learned skills, right? You may be creating a masterpiece or you may be creating something for somebody. There is going to be a change. This is a change. This is a shift of some sort. 
Hard work pays off. You know, you may be struggling. You may have been rejected in the past. You may have lost your faith. You could be receiving a new job or some sort of assistance from somebody that sees your craft, sees your skills. Some of you could be taking on a new job or you may be learning a new skill, you know, because it feels like you're taking on something new to bring balance or money or financial security into your life. Capricorn. An excellent, excellent reputation. If you've lost your faith, you know, keep in mind that you have some sort of excellent reputation here for doing a good job. And this is moving slow. In order to get to the other side, there's no rushing about it. And you are a Capricorn. You know, to have success and to be able to walk this tight rope and not fall, it takes a lot of expertise, common sense, and slow movements. Do what you love. Some of you may be starting something new. Something, you know, I think that you are being called to do that. Do what you love. Eight of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups reversed is superficial. It's staying put in a place that, you know, doesn't make you happy. Pretending to be happy. Some of you may be thinking about going back to something. I mean, because that is taking a long time to think about leaving or, or something like that. You may have no faith, okay? You may be very much afraid of somebody. Maybe it's somebody from your past coming back around. I don't know. Eight of Cups reversed. That is um, a wild goose chase of some sort. Now, some of you, there could be an apology here or a return. Something could be returning you know, something that you don't have any faith in whatsoever. Some of you could be thinking about, you know, an ex or an ex could be thinking about you. Um, taking a long time to think about it. Staying put in a situation where there is a lack of happiness. There's no emotional abundance, no emotional reward. And then there's a lot of fear of leaving, a lot of fear of going. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is a new truth. It's a new idea. It could be an epiphany. It could be an instant realization. This is an awakening. This could be a wake-up call. This could be communication. I mean, that is the sword of truth, it is the sword of power, and it is the sword that cuts. So we have a new truth, a new idea here. And this is communicating, and this is like, uh, I mean, X is usually a no answer. Mm. Maybe there's been no communication. I don't know. Four of Wands. Four of Wands is commitment. It's happiness. It's togetherness. It's celebrating. This is an upcoming get-together. Could be an engagement. Could be a party. A marriage. A commitment. A home. You know, this is creating, because we have the creation up here, creating something that makes you very happy. You may get a new idea. Maybe there's been a blockage. Maybe your fear has been blocking this new idea, you know? This is struggling. It really is. A need to adapt, a need to make some sort of choice. You have some sort of skill, okay? And this is creating a masterpiece, and this is committing to something. There is a new commitment here. There's a new commitment, a new foundation, 
there's been some sort of delay, but there's an awakening here. Or there's communication or there's news. This news may cause some sort of realignment, may cause some sort of change. Now, this may have to do with work or school or some sort of creative endeavor that you are embarking on. This is a congratulations. It's time to celebrate. Oh, let's get this deck right here. What else? Choosing something that is going to make you very happy. There is some sort of news information, truth coming out. There's been some sort of blockage, delays. Be prepared to adapt, okay? Hard work again. So this has to do with work and, and focus. I mean, underneath the three of pentacles, this is somebody that is very focused on doing a good job, that is very, very skilled, that is putting in a lot of effort to create stability and abundance. So, you know, this is congratulations. Hard work does pay off. Now, you may be receiving some news or information or communication from somebody that is giving you an opportunity, okay, or you're creating something that with hard work and dedication will definitely pay off. There's been some sort of delay, but there's some sort of news that is coming that is going to make you very happy. And this is creating something really, really focused. You know, this is somebody that has learned a very good skill and has the uh, desire to build abundance. I mean, this guy is working really, 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 really hard in creating something of value. We definitely have a hard worker here and somebody that's putting in a lot of effort, learning new skills, and it will pay off. You may have to be patient. What else? What else do we have for Capricorn? Oh, we got two. Six of Pentacles reverse and the Four of Wands again. So we have the Four of Wands twice. The Four of Wands, like I said, I can't talk. The Four of Wands is celebrations, it's happiness, it's commitment, it's togetherness. It's comfort. It's celebration. There's a celebration here. There's a get-together. There's a party of some sort. You could be receiving an invitation or something like that. Here we have the Six of Pentacles reverse. This is not getting valued. It's not being valued. It's being underrated, uh, unrecognized, not getting what you deserve, lack of reciprocation. Um, I think that you haven't been receiving what you deserve. You haven't been getting paid enough. You haven't been getting there. Maybe there's been some theft or some greed, but there's a shift here and there's happy news that is coming that will, it's news that is cause to celebrate. There's been some sort of blockage or rejection. And I think it's caused you not to, maybe you've been, maybe you've given up on something. Maybe this is an abuse of power or an abuse of generosity. Something that was lost could be coming back, okay, after some sort of blockage or rejection. Now, this is a new opportunity. It's a new truth. It's a realization. It's an awakening. This is uh, complete happiness. The Four of Wands twice. I mean, this, this, I mean, this is double happiness, okay? This is... 
a commitment long term. This could be a new home. It could be an engagement. It could be going to some sort of celebration and having a lot of fun. And this says to have fun. So you could get an offer or an invite that makes you very, very, very happy. We have these. There's something about October here as well because of these pumpkins. So I think there's something to do with October. Um, news is coming and I think that I think that there's going to be a shift that makes you very very happy um, your hard work is going to pay off now there could be somebody that you have worked with or this definitely has to do with work you have some sort of skill and there's a strong dedication that is going to pay off celebrating some sort of success What else do we have for Capricorn? Eagle, vision. You're caught up in too many details of living, getting distracted easily to the continual bouncing from one thing to the next. That's the Two of Pentacles. While it's necessary to attend to all these details, your habitual, fragmented approach creates tension and anxiety. You feel overwhelmed and victimized by the number of responsibilities before you and have lost perspective in what, on what are, most, are the most important. Step back from your tasks for a moment and see the bigger picture. Pause, take a few slow, deep breaths, close your eyes, and identify what's truly important, that which has heart and meaning. Visualize these various items and how to best approach them. As you come to recognize which truly, what is truly significant, create an external representation of your goals and intentions with a written list or vision board. Either will help you achieve the greatest, either, they don't have a comma in there, either will help you achieve greater perspective and focus. You may need to make a list or create a vision board and really decide what's most important. This is taking on too much. You may be trying to do so much that, you've, that you're all over the place right? You may have to say no to some things. Maybe you're losing your faith because you got too much going on. You need to slow down and create a vision. What's most important to you? What's truly the thing that you need to focus on the most? Okay, do what you love. Okay, do what you love. What, what do you want to do that you really love? Because when you do what you love, it's going to work out and it's going to bring you prosperity. It's almost like you're taking on so many things that you can't really accomplish any one goal. Focus on one thing. You may get take a time out as well. Step back from the situation and look at who you are and where you want to go and what your main focus is. What you want your main focus to be and put your time and energy into that. And maybe that's why you need to say no to some things. And that is what I got. So I think you're going to come up with, a, this is like a new vision. It is. It's like a new idea or clarity on the path that you want to take. And that's the path you need to focus on. Good luck.